What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat basketball channel. The NBA free agency negotiation period officially begins on June 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern. So that is in four days from today. Deals can be agreed upon during this time frame and period, but can't officially be signed until after July 6th. So the Miami Heat more likely are going to make moves through the trade market versus free agency because of their salary cap restrictions and the fact that the Heat are already over the first apron in, in terms of the luxury tax and they don't necessarily want to be in that second apron, uh, which might be in inevitable, but they don't have much room in terms of offering quality salaries to uh, unrestricted or even restricted free agents. So with that said, are there any players that we could possibly get on a discount and possibly on a short-term deal? Um, I think one of those players that we could potentially go after um, I don't think it's very likely, but we could possibly go after Russell Westbrook, who is a unrestricted free agent. He officially um, fulfilled and ended his long-term contract. He was paid $46 million last year at age 34 in his 15th season, and he played and ended the season with the Los Angeles Clippers. Westbrook had an up-and-down year, started off with the Los Angeles Lakers was traded to the Utah Jazz and was bought out by the Utah Jazz and then signed with the Clippers for the remainder of the season and he played 21 games with the Clippers he played 52 with the Lakers he didn't play any and never suited up for the Utah Jazz so Westbrook could be a possible good fit with the Heat. He played pretty well with the Lakers, um, reasonably well. The nine-time All-Star rejuvenated his role uh, after a shaky start with the Lakers um, as the sixth man for the Lakers. But again, it was an overall bad fit for the team, and they had to make some moves, which were pretty good moves, um, after the trade deadline, uh, acquiring Rui Hashimura, uh, Malik Beasley and D'Angelo Russell who was kind of mediocre but not too bad during the regular season um, he showed up in the regular season but not so much in the playoffs when it mattered but anyway um, the Heat could be a great destination for the 34 year old point guard um, you know he didn't play too bad last year with the Lakers but he just wasn't the right fit um, but with the, the Clippers his stock essentially rose um he did play better um and i think he was a better fit for the clippers his averages so with the lakers he averaged 15.9 clippers 15.8 so that stayed the same his turnovers you know which is always an issue he had 3.4 with the clippers 3.5 with the lakers so that stayed the same steals were basically one-on-one -on -one. assists 7.6 7.5 so that stayed the same uh, his rebounds went down slightly from five with the Lakers to 3.4. But the important stats that I'm looking at right here now is that his field goal percentage actually increased pretty dramatically when he went to the LA Clippers. So he was shooting um, from two. He was shooting at 29%. Um, excuse me, 41%. I was looking at the three. So Russell Westbrook was shooting 41% from the field and with the Lakers. And then that jumped up all the way to 48% with the Clippers. So 7% increase there. That's pretty huge. Uh, also with this three-point shooting, that increased a lot as well. That was at 29% and that shot up to 35%. So he definitely improved. It was a better fit and he was definitely needed on that Clippers team. But I'm not entirely sure if the Clippers are going to re-sign him. We'll see um, what their thought is. I mean, there's rumors and speculation that the Clippers could trade a Paul George. So not sure what 
they're going to get back for him if they do possibly make a trade. And then if they do get some sort of point guard or guard, is Russell Westbrook going to be redundant? Who knows? We'll see. But I think Westbrook could give Miami's rotation some improved depth. Um, he could definitely be our sixth man. I don't think he could start for this Miami Heat team. Um, that would seem to be disastrous having him and Jimmy Butler and Bam on the floor at the same time. Um, we need folks to spread the floor so that Bam and Jimmy can operate within some space. Um, so I don't think he'd be a great fit for our starting lineup, but he could definitely be managing our second unit, especially if we don't re-sign Gabe um, Vincent, who's a free agent, or if we trade Kyle Lowry, perhaps. Um, so, because Kyle Lowry right now is our um, point guard off the bench, um, and he's managing and uh, running that second unit. He did pretty well towards the end of the season and through the playoffs. So uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be here. Um, and also, if not sure if Miami's going to trade for Dame. I don't know if he's ever going to want to leave the Trailblazers. We'll see. Um, but if we do sign Dame, maybe Westbrook would want to come to the Heat on that veteran minimum salary or like a low salary um, to possibly win a championship and come off the bench, you know, backing up Dame. I mean, I think that would be pretty ideal. But yeah, we'll see. I'm open-minded to it as long as it's a a friendly deal, a bet minimum, which is, I don't know if he's going to take that at this point in his career. I'm sure he would want at least one more contract that's two to three years. Um, but he, he probably needs to take a discount if he wants to go to a um, championship contending team. So, which I assume he would since he still has not won a NBA championship. So I'm open-minded to it as long as he's open-minded to taking a uh, small contract, possibly just a one-year contract and coming off the bench to help with our um, improving the depth, you know, within our backcourt. So I, I'm open-minded to it. Is Russell Westbrook? Who knows? We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Talk to you guys soon.